You know about the saying, the customer's always right. Some shop owners don't subscribe to it. They put their art above the importance of groveling to customers. The most famous case, perhaps, that of the soup Nazi. This is a character in the NBC sitcom Seinfeld, very particular about the behaviour of customers in his soup shop, the best, apparently, in New York. He's secretly referred to as the soup Nazi. Why? What happens if you don't order right? He yells and you don't get your soup. Just follow the ordering procedure and you will be fine. All right, all right, let's, let's go over that again. Right, so you hold out your money, speak your soup in a loud, clear voice, step to the left and receive. So. Right. <laughs> it's very important not to embellish on your order. No extraneous comments, no questions, no compliments. Oh, boy, I'm really scared. Elaine. <laughs> The soup Nazi from Seinfeld, um, and indeed they made the mistake, one of them, asking for bread. <laughs> and uh, so they were all thrown out, I think, in the end. Uh, are shop owners right to demand certain things of their customers? Well, Pasquale Cioncio is uh, someone who thinks so. He runs a pizza restaurant in London, so successful. It does have queues around the block of customers wanting to taste his award-winning pizza. But, uh, Pasquale, you've been in the headlines this week because you kicked out a group of customers what happened well we didn't really kick out someone um so slowly the story's been a bit changed the way we definitely uh, passionate for what we do we we love every single step of uh, the the pizza making from the resourcing the, the the ingredients to the oven to the chef everything is a uh, uh, you know we look after every single detail so we want a bit of a little a bit of respect for what we do at least so if you uh if you take the chance of uh, take a seat which is not very easy every day and especially on a saturday evening which is uh, the busiest day of the week of course and uh, four girls um, at the table for four ordering only two pizza and one salad we demanded at least to have one pizza each if it's not one pizza each we're quite flexible to have three pizza but at least you know just like don't uh -huh. Exactly, because you've only got 16 covers, is we that right? We have only 16 covers. There is a, so uh, 16 people can eat. Uh, exactly. It's a pizza restaurant, and if two don't want to eat pizza, then they've not people, only blown your profits, they've probably upset not, a lot of people about, outside. It's not about profit, it's about uh, respect for our passion, for our love, for what we do. Uh, it's a 16 seats. People come from all over the city to, to try our product, our pizza. Uh, we, yeah, we've been awarded and, uh, for a... Uh, what we do and uh, of course we're quite popular and pizza come from all, uh, people come from all over the city to try pizza and uh, is able to wait so if you get a table for four don't take the chance to other people to uh, what do they do then these women they were like uh, they were trying to uh, to spend the evening you know it was a saturday evening warm was last week quite warm tables outside a bottle of wine two pizza just like to spend the evening when you know we try to to change the tables as much as possible in italy the pizza places are exactly the same you is a the the, the the first concept of fast food actually you come you sit you eat you go you know it's, especially when you got a, like a small place like that we have more uh, titles and award than seats so we <laughs> try to make up for everyone which is not very easy you always uh, up, you know end up upsetting someone which is not our intention of course uh, but at least you know if you have a table for four at least three pizzas you know make us happy for what we do uh, have it, you thought of expanding Pasquale <laughs> because if you're that good and it certainly is the case that people um, do come to your restaurant from all over Britain or over London know, anyway so you know how about going big we are we are southern Italian we're quite superstitious you know we <laughs> we like the, the the place where we are and uh, you know it's part of the magic it's a uh, beside the the, the the pizza which is excellent is definitely the best uh, but the atmosphere created in our uh, in our restaurant is uh, is unique so uh, that's why these girls they were hoping to you know to spend the whole evening there uh, so uh, expanded to another location uh, uh, I don't know it doesn't uh, uh, appeal to us at the moment we we we're happy where we are we have our uh, loyal uh, fans that you know they travel all over the, the city and have you thought of franchising I'm sure no, def it. definitely not. <laughs> that, that would be. Um, I, I'm a big pizza fan, as I mentioned on the uh, the World Service Facebook page or on, on the Dan Damon Facebook page, uh, because I'm vegetarian. You, you just just about everywhere in the world you can get a pizza. Iran, yes. they do good pizzas in Iran. I can tell you that. Yeah, Mongolia is the only place I think I never got one. Where where have you seen pizza celebrated? 
uh, definitely is the, is the most uh, known food product worldwide. It's like the the famous uh, red can drink. It's uh, pretty much everywhere. But you know, definitely the, the best is in, in Naples, and that's where we're from, and that's what we do. Pizza is pizza is born there, and we authentic and uh, faithful to the to the original concept and methods. Pasquale, thank you very much for coming in and explaining why you're just very special about pizza. That's Pasquale Cioncio, who's uh, determined that if you come to his restaurant, you come for pizza. Well, let's just, let's just finish. Uh, it's been 10 years to the day since President George W. Bush announced the start of what would be a 10-year-old war in Afghanistan, of course.